I don't believe we ask for these. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back and today we are doing number three of designer items nobody asked for. I make videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I have another fun video for you where we just look at designer items that nobody asked for. Who is buying these things? If you bought them, are you okay? I think we need to talk. I wanted to share five other items that we have found from the interwebs and three of these items you guys had mentioned in my comments of my previous video so i will put them down below if you have not seen it i really appreciate you submitting those if you guys have come across some crazy weird things on the interwebs that designers created that you don't know who asked for this who bought this please put it in the comments down below i really appreciate it okay let's get started so number one we have louis vuitton and for some reason louis vuitton kind of heard that chanel was getting on the fitness bandwagon they're like no 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 we want to be a fitness brand too we are going to make a louis vuitton volleyball look how beautiful this is and it comes with its own little volleyball holder. That's right. All these volleyballs that you just like carry in your hands. That is so boring. This volleyball, not only can you beat it up, you can smack it around over the net. You can spike this ball. You can carry this ball in this beautiful mesh carrying case. You will be the talk of the volleyball course because everybody's gonna realize you don't know how to play volleyball if you have this particular piece but guys this piece costs around 2600 dollars to purchase but then i was like you know what you could actually like maybe use the volleyball holder net thingy as a bag too like it it's a bonus piece right can you imagine if you're just like at the beach at the volleyball court and somebody shows up carrying this thing i mean i'm sorry <laughs> I'll be like, you don't play no volleyball. You don't know what you're doing because I don't play volleyball either. Like I am someone that would be eating sand the whole time. I don't know why Louis Vuitton thought we needed them in the sporting world, but why are you giving me this LV? Why? The next, I couldn't believe it when someone put this in the comments. So this is one that was shared by you guys. And I was like, no way this existed. Come on. It existed guys. I should never doubt you. Bad Jess, bad Jess. And that is this beveled bedazzled folding chair bag from area look at this thing it exists it literally is a mini little folding chair like you can't even sit you're behind on there I guess you could prop your shoe up like if you want to have like a shoe moment you maybe you could put your shoe on it it is a folding chair that you can wear like a bag so it's not like jewelry you can't stick anything in it I mean I guess if you had like a cute little haunted doll that you carried around you could like make sure they had a seat not quite sure what this was for people like held it like a bag they had this whole thing when i looked at this collection they had a bunch of like full-size bedazzled chair i guess they were inspired by the folding chair for for this collection i have never been inspired by a folding chair but i mean there's a first time for everything but i am normally somebody that loves things bedazzled sparkles and things gem it up i had a bedazzler i bedazzled some shoes i went to town on some of my items i get it I get the bedazzler, but I think you need to put down the bedazzler, man. Give me, give me your bedazzler area because you don't know what you're doing because you're taking doll chairs and putting shiny stuff on it and putting a strap on it and walking it down the runway. It's supposed to be for sitting, not walking. It is under a thousand dollars. It's like a steal. Right around, I think it said around 880 US dollars for this beautiful one of a kind bedazzled chair for your doll in your life. Maybe you have a fancy Barbie and she wants this chair. So for the Barbie lover in your life that also has a bedazzling problem, maybe this is perfect for them. So LV has made the list again. This is another submit from you guys. And this is the Louis Vuitton Capucans bag with fruit. It's, it's the fruit bag. The artist's name was Urs Fisher, and then this was their take on this classic bag. And I really like this classic style bag from Louis Vuitton. It's something I've thought about getting, maybe in the BB size, like a smaller size, not really the bigger size is my jam, but I think they look super cute. The smaller size, but he decided, you know what, I'm gonna retake it, I'm gonna imagine it. And how I see this bag, 
this Parisian beautiful woman walking down the street with this bag. She is walking down the street with fruit hanging off of it. She's got her bananas. She's got her strawberries. There was all these little gems that you could hang on the bottom of the bag. Could you imagine wearing this? First of all, it's, it's fruit. Like I'm gonna try to get past the fact that there's fruit, but also something hanging down from the bottom of my bag. Like it's just, people are gonna think something's falling out your bag. You know how many times people are like, ma'am, ma'am, your banana fell out your bag. Like, ma'am, your strawberry fell out your bag. And then this thing, like you'd be wearing this with a strap and this banana just be beating you in the butt every time you walk. Nothing about this seems Parisian, seems classy, it seems worth over $5,000 in my opinion with this. And I think you could buy the charms separate. I think they detached, but I just don't understand the obsession with the fruit. I like fruit. I like to eat it. Do I see it as a fashion piece? Maybe in a bowl on my counter, but I don't feel like I want to wear fruit, <laughs> especially like full-size fruit. So I'm not quite sure what was going on with this design. In reality, they didn't really do a new take on the design. They just hung some fruit from it. And I feel like that's not designing. That's something that I think that my five-year-old could come up with. That's just insulting to him. He has really great style. He would definitely come up with something so much better than hanging fruit from a bag. Guys, we have Tiffany back again. So from the last one, Tiffany gave us a bendy straw. A Tiffany gave us a very expensive bendy straw. Well, now Tiffany's like, you know what? I am gonna do something even better for you. I am going to give you a can, literally a can. This is a Tiffany's can. This can isn't just like an aluminum can. No, it has like this, this blue, Tiffany blue enamel line in the center where the seams meet. It also is made of sterling silver and you can put pencils in it. That's why it's worth it. Yes, you could just get a regular tin can. You could definitely get a regular aluminum can, draw a blue line in it and put some pencils in it. Like, Tiffany, what are you thinking? <laughs> like, what are you thinking with this? And you're like, oh, it's beautiful home supply. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. First of all, nothing that this screams wealthy. And second of all, do people write anymore? Do people actually need a place to put their pens and pencils? Come on, guys. Do they even write? Do you even draw? Does anyone pen a letter anymore? People don't even learn cursive in school. Tiffany, what are you doing? And then this can will cost you, what do you think, what do you think? Guess, guess how much this, this fancy Tiffany's can will cost you. Over a thousand dollars, guys, for a can, for a can. Who bought this? Who bought this? I need names. I need to know what's going on. I need to make sure you're okay. We need to check in. Are, like who bought these, Tiffany? Who is in charge? Who's in charge over there? You need to give me your keys because you're drunk because we don't know what's going on. We got bendy straws and cans going on over there. Something needs to be reprimanded. And the last thing I put on here is what I have been thinking about doing. I was like, you know, let's put it on here. We got Chanel. They make the list every time, don't they? Because they're crazy expensive and they think crazy outside the box. But this one, I just, I really, really, I really judge them on. I judge what they were thinking. I, I judge this runway show because I don't get it. I also judge the price that this item is. So we are talking about the Chanel grocery basket. Yeah, this is a grocery basket that you can buy. It is selling on secondhand markets for over $20,000, $30,000. This isn't something that they sold that many of for a reason, for a reason. But I remember seeing this runway show and basically it took place in like a supermarket and fabulous fashion piece. They were just walking like with their grocery basket, like all fierce, like doing a runway walk down the aisle. Like these models go grocery shopping themselves. I don't even go grocery shopping myself anymore. I literally do everything on the app and get it sent to my house. I Amazon everything. So I just don't ever see a need to have a grocery basket bag. Like, could you imagine holding this? Like, I don't even like holding grocery basket myself, holding them on my arm, they end up hurting, they ache sticking a bunch of groceries in there and then putting groceries, milk, all this stuff in a basket. Like when would this ever be used? I would like someone to show me how this item was styled in an everyday life as a bag. I need to see that. I need to see how you served this up and made me believe it was fashion. Because when I saw it on the runway, I couldn't believe that this is something they actually were selling as well. I thought it was just like a gimmick for the runway that they were just holding it to look like they were going grocery shopping. Look, the Chanel, Chanel girls, they're going to the grocery store in their Chanel. I have never taken my Chanel bags or products to a grocery store. 
maybe a pair of shoes, but that's doubtful. I have never showed up, served up, looking like this at the grocery store or at Target. I mean, I have brought my Birkin to Target, but Birkins, they like to go to Target. But Chanel baskets, guys, please, please. So I just need to know who, who bought this because it says sold on this website. That means someone bought it and spent their coin on this. Is this a collector's piece? Is this something that I'm like, I just can't see? Am I just not fabulous enough? Am I just not cool enough to get this? Please put it in the comments down below. Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know what you think of these. Is there more that we need to add? Do we need a number four? I feel like we do. I feel like we do need to keep this video going because I really love it. Have fun and I hope you did too. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.